gotta live back in a bit, meditate, I think I should. No, we ain't friends, got me on. What's going on, guys? It's Bryce from Fitz Records, and I'm here with an artist interview. We got the man himself, Hellblazer. Say what's up, Hellblazer. Yeah, what's good with y'all, everybody? How y'all feeling today? Uh, hope y'all just, you know, feeling all the love. Yes, sir. So we're here. You know, he has just dropped his project, Mixtape, Boy Meets World. I got the little exclusive. I listened early. You know what I'm saying? This interview's recorded <laughs> a little early. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but we're going to get right into it. So, Hellblazer, tell, tell the people, I, I know where you're from, but tell, tell the people where you're from. Kind of, you go into subjects about, like, your family on this album a little bit. So kind of tell me just a little bit about where you're from, your upbringing, you know, just kind of general, oh. general stuff about yourself as a person. I bet. So uh, first off, let's let's just shout out like this. Y'all already know it's 301 DMV. Yes, I sir. am oh I am Moco I am Moco bred DMV born. <laughs> you feel me? Uh yeah, I'll specifically I'm from Germantown, which uh oh, I know, I know yeah, I know the know. rat pack is in here. Oh, you we feel know me? That. I know we the know rat that. pack is in here. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. I'm about I'm literally I'm like 10, maybe 20 minutes away from Gates. I'm 20 minutes away from West Deer Park. I know that for sure. Mm -hmm. But like 10 minutes away from uh, Gaithersburg, like where literally you could take one step out of Germantown and land the other foot into Gaithersburg. That's yeah. how close we are. But yeah, in terms of like my family and like my upbringing and everything like that. So uh, first off, I got to start out like this always. Uh, I got immigrant parents, bro. I'm Afro-Caribbean. Uh, my mom is from Barbados. My dad is from Cameroon. Uh, actually, you can let me let me wrap the flag. Hell real yeah, quick. yes, just, sir. Just, let me wrap the flag real quick. Yes, sir. That's yeah, fire. Yeah, it's yeah. Your graduation shit. That's fire. Yeah, I was about to say, man. I still haven't put away all my graduation stuff yet, so I'm literally just you're, you're getting everything as my place is like being set up and everything. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, man. Well, um, on the topic of logic, you know, I feel we might as well get this topic, you know, right straight away. You know, coming up in oh, the yeah. DMV, I, I'm curious, you know, Logic's a huge artist, and, you know, him blowing up early on in his career was early in, in the DMV, you know. He had a lot of love from his home city and that whole area early on. How mm. did that, like, how did how is that, like, growing up in an area that's so, like, close to you? I, I bet you know, like, people that have met him or had stories about him or just how to, like, oh, sure. how does, like, the area... Uh, love logic and how has that like inspired you to keep loving him okay how is the area uh love logic so here's the thing it's not like a lot of my um a lot of my ogs in the area have like stories or i've seen people or have, like known people who know people it's kind of like a i know somebody who yeah, knows somebody yeah, type of thing exactly. with him and um honestly i'm i'm not going to speak for anybody else i can just speak for me personally i know that um it like he's been someone I've been following since I was like 11, 10 ish, and I'm 21 now, so it's been a while. Um, Easy. and so with everything, like I I have such distinct memories with his music and his come up being such an inspiration for me. Like first off, his double XL cipher is my favorite cipher of Insane, all time. Bro. E equals MC squared. Sorry. Yeah, E, e equals E or MC. MCs beware. He's beware. Yeah. Shit crazy. Uh, yeah. So. It's insane. And then also, um, again, I have such distinct memories with his music and it, it resonates with me because like I'm really because like I'm really from here, bro. Like this is really an like yeah. when under pressure drop. And I heard, uh, of course, the I got my under pressure vinyl somewhere back here. <laughs> but <laughs> when I heard like the reporters and everything like that, I was like, yo, I know like I can match a face to Shawnee because this is who I wake up seeing yep. on the news like every That's day. Crazy. Like this is really Bro, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to talk some real DMV talk since we about to get on this real quick. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, like honestly, it's real. It means a lot. Uh, and his come up has kind of been almost something I kind of mold myself after. Not necessarily. I'm not trying to copy, but it's definitely someone who I yeah. look at and like. You kind of showed me that there is a possibility because here's the thing: when it comes to the DMV, a lot of the people who make it out or get it on a big stage. They are either from two places. They're not usually from Montgomery County, Moco, where, you know, Logic and I are from. They're from PG County, where, you know, you got your IDKs, your Red Vales. Also, huge inspirations to me. Yeah. Um, and then you have Wale, who's obviously been claiming D.C. for, like, the past decade or everything like that. And, like, so I haven't, like, shout out to shout, shout, shout out to everybody from yeah. Pretty Girl County. Well, let me, before yeah. I start getting, you know, on the, people start getting on my head tops. But... Uh, when it comes from being from Moco, bro, um, honestly, I have 
like to be honest i have ties everywhere in the uh dmv to be quite honest with you like i went to school in dc hmm. i lived in hyattsville which is in pg county for a while and but i grew up mostly in montgomery county so that's where i've kind of so i have like that's where like home is for me yeah. and so seeing logic come up i say all that to say that like seeing logic come up has really just blazed a path for me and kind of has made me a little bit more aspirational and like what I do in the shows, like there is success here. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. Uh, the reason why I asked you specifically about Logic, not just because you're a Logic fan, you know, you are from the area and what you're saying about like DMV is I'm learning more about the DMV every day because it's like, I'm not from there. I'm, I'm close to there, but I'm not from there. And it's like, when you really like look Bro, into what? DMV, it's like, there are, oh, there's a, it's a pretty like nice set of artists, but it's like a lot of them don't really blow up outside of the DMV. Like, you, you get like a, a fat tro who has blown up a little bit outside the dmv but like mm. really like in the dmv he's like a legend but you, you go other places in the country they might not even really know who he is you know what i'm saying okay so god my my girl would get on me so much if i did not take this uh time to shout out like literally everything that's going on dmv because yeah. i'm not sure if you saw on uh twitter but idk's comments about I the did. dmv music and everything like that yeah yeah so how does that make you feel how does that you, make you feel yeah how does that make me feel firstly oh my god like i i'm like i love idk i'm an idk stan like yeah. again i there's an idk poster too. somewhere in this yeah fuck with yeah them. so he's a huge inspiration for me but i'm not gonna lie i was a little disheartened when i heard him say that because like bro I, there's literally so many people yeah. on all levels of the music scene that are coming from my area. Like you can start at the top and you can of course talk about him, Logic, Red Veil, Rico Nasty, Corday, or you can go a little bit lower. You can talk about Odyssey. You can talk about uh, Kilo Latisha. You can talk about literally so many, you can talk about free party. You can talk about day. You can talk about C. Castro. You can talk about so many people. Day is and a good one. Day is a good one. Yeah. I forget that. Yeah, and then you yeah. can, and then you can even go so lower as like people like myself. And I'm gonna just take this time to shout out the homies who are killing it. Uh, Jay Nino, Just Ten, Azure the Paradox. Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. They're gonna kill me for this. My boy Chipolo just dropped a, a new single today. My homies over at uh room two for, at two forty two. Shout out to them. That's the gang. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So there's so many, and we're gonna talk about more of the features and everything. So mm -hmm. Rose, Hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk about. Yeah, we're going to talk about all the homies soon. But I say all of that to say that, like, that was an opportunity for him to really, like, as much as I understand where he's coming from with the, hey, we got to stay out of jail. Yeah, of course. Like, like he said, Q the Fool just got out. Fat Trail literally just got, yep. got out. But you could have flipped the narrative. And for a lot of people who aren't, like, from here, like yourself, that could have turned them off to the whole area to begin with. Yeah. When really... Like, he should have taken the time to really shout out the people who are right under him. Like, shout out to Dre Wave, shout out to Case Cobain, shout out to shout out to Alex Vaughn, shout out to Eli Derby. Like, shout out to so many people in the DMV, bro, who are killing it. Yeah, like, man. You, know, you know your shit. Because so <laughs> I'm outside the DMV, I'm not recognizing a lot of the names you're saying. But it's like, that's, mm -hmm. that's the thing with the DMV. It's because, like, I know it so I... I'm aware of how like bubbling it is and how big it's gotten even in the last like three, four years. Like it's, I mean, you have the legends, like I said, Huawei, you know, back then, but like, it's like, if you're mm -hmm. saying something like that about your area, like, I feel like you're not looking, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not, it, yeah. it's not going to come to gonna... you. It's not going to fucking come to you. You gotta, yeah. you gotta look for it. And so, um, I had shout out to, my girlfriend and my a and r uh, natalia rones because we had a long long discussion uh about this because she feels just as passionate about the dmv music scene as myself and when she heard the clip she was like she was heated she was so like she was tweaking like not tweaking but she was just going crazy yeah yeah um and i and, and understandably so and i was kind of heated too but i was like the thing is about about it is that i this is just a remembrance so that way when we get into these positions where we have these platforms and i knew i was coming on here and i was like okay i'm going to be on an outsider's platform just like how he was on angela yee's angela yee's from new york mm -hmm. we're going to make sure that that narrative is not the only one being spun we're going to make sure that people like a dre waves are getting known we're going to make sure that people like a yay productions is getting known we're going to make sure that people like a detronada is getting known from people who are outside of our area for, and yes, to all my people in the DMV, 
for this conversation, since I'm talking to an outsider, I am counting Baltimore as a part of the DMV. <laughs> it's a whole, it's a, it's a whole thing, bro. Yeah, like, yeah I've heard. I've heard me. it's like a whole like discrepancy between. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I respect that a ton that you're you're out here showing love, and you know, like you said, the features on the project we'll get into. You know, showing love to your brothers mm-hmm. and sisters on there. I fuck with that, but speaking of the project i kind of wanted to get through it i kind of wanted to go through track by track just get kind of brief thoughts my thoughts and kind of how just i want to talk about the tracks all right but i'll say before i get let's talk about before i get into i'll say i I loved it my favorite Mm -hmm. tracks just off off the top off the top we got tantrum you know i was gonna love that shit you know i was gonna love that shit wide open Mm -hmm. hard i know that was a single but that shit hard Thoughts out the bro altar. wide open just dropped today. Yeah, uh, yeah. shout out to Woze, shout out to CC May. Wo- um, oh my god, they killed it. Wide open just dropped today. Go stream it. Yeah, that shit hard. Thoughts at the altar. Hey, that's an introspective track, followed by Soulful Pain right after. I thought those were great right next to each other. And Thank the you. deep end cipher, that Detroit flow with that switch up on the back half, though. <laughs> that shit is crazy. But hey, hey, those are my favorites. We could talk more about them individually, uh-huh. but starting from the beginning of the project we got the intro mm. and you know i thought it was a great intro it definitely set the tone for the album as diverse or the mixtape as diverse as the mix yeah. is it's it's almost like in your face but it's honest at the same time you know you're like i've been saying already like four times now incredibly diverse project so how thank you how the how, the, how did this become the intro was this made with the thoughts of it being like i want to make an album intro or is this more of just a track that seemed to work together with the project all right, so um, my last intro for my project, Born to be a Legend, is one of my favorite joints that I've ever made, like, ever. So I was like, okay, how do I top this? And I was like, I've never... So I was listening to Victory Lap one day, and I really loved uh, the intro on that. And I love the... I knew I needed I knew I needed just a crazy vocalist to really, like, tap into that. Yeah. So shout out to uh, my brother, Corey. Uh, he he's going it. by X. Shout out to Corey. He killed the chorus on that. And so really, like, I was just doing my thing. And I, I wrote it, and I was like, if I'm going to do this, I want to show a couple of things. I go into every, like, I go into every venture, uh, for lack of a better word, with just a couple of things in mind. A couple, like, just, <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, But to equate it, I equate it almost to, like, the little, Swabat uh, acronym students mm-hmm. will be able yeah. to uh, from school, yeah. and so I always be like, okay, what's the objective here? And so this one was just to show that I'm trying to be more emotional, I'm trying to be more introspective, but I'm also trying to show y'all that you know the pen's still active. Yeah, the, the yeah. pen's still active. Yeah, and I think so, that's definitely something you you continued throughout the project. Yeah, and so um, I really was just trying to make sure that one people knew that like the punchlines were still there that at the end of the day like as much as i try and expand into all these different subgenres of the culture i'm always going to be a backpack baby that's always (laughs) how i'm going to break it down i'm always going to be a backpack baby that's that's Um, that's completely fair i mean you know that scene isn't as big as it as it was like 10 years ago but you're still carrying mm -hmm. it i think you're carrying it well in a tasteful way that's not really like you're not really doing what you're not doing backpack, you know, and on some of these tracks, I'll say as like yeah, a, a J Cole was or like a fucking Logic was, even though he was copying J Cole back in the day, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Shout out to uh, shout out to Cole. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if you know this, but I'm gonna manifest this real quick since you brought up Cole. Okay. You are talking to a future Dreamville record signee. All you right. Are... Hey, we got the J. Cole. I don't even know if you can fucking see it. We got, I got three. Yeah, the lighting's bad. I got three J. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it. Yeah. But don't even worry about it. I see it. <laughs> but nah, you you are talking to a few. Like, in my mind, I have my whole career trajectory planned out, and Dreamville is one of them. You feel me? Put that shit out there, manifest. I'd love to hear that. Um, Going into exactly. the next track here. Got to go get it. Show more of aggressive side. More, one of the more trap songs on here for real and for sure. you know i enjoyed that you're talking about it's it's almost like an aspirational song which i think followed great after the end show you know introduce yourself show yourself show your pen a little bit and this one you're like like the title track or the tap the track the title of the track says you gotta go get it you know what i'm saying you're being influenced it's Always. about to come up aspirational i thought it was encouraging like both personally like for your i feel like you're rapping to yourself but also to the listener which i enjoyed if you want to talk a little bit more about that all right, so um, first off, I gotta say, 
Uh, shout out to my man, Leander Rob. He's an executive producer on this and he did the intro and he did this uh, track as well. Uh, so with that being said, um, man, you're right. You're hundred percent right. I was talking to myself because this is a year, like, sure. A lot of y'all, when y'all get this project, you're going to listen to it in like 40 minutes, but this is like, I, this is a year and a half's yeah. work on my end to be yeah. completely honest with y'all. And you don't know how many times throughout the year and a half, I would open up my phone. I would look and see how the last project was going and then just be like, maybe I should kind of tap out. <laughs> and, but I, I would always have someone in my corner, whether it be my girl or just some random or just some random person or see or some random person who gave me a little bit of validation to be like, my whether it be my girl, my friends, shout IEA, uh, just someone who would give me like random validation and just be like, yo, you have a talent. You just gotta, you still gotta keep going and you really do, like for lack of a better word, you gotta go get it. Yeah. And so, yeah. Uh, that to me was just something where also I was finishing this up. Like I recorded that and I did that and I really, that all came about like during my last year of college, bro. <laughs> Uh, bro, I did not want to be in there. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> I did not want to be in them classrooms. Uh, shout out to everybody at Frostburg State University, though. All the homies and everybody like that. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of shout outs this interview. I'm not yes, even gonna sir, lie to no. You. Get them out there, bro. We love it. Fuck yeah. Yeah, but um, honestly, bro, I was like, bro, I don't want to get this degree, but I know I have to. Like, I know. Like, I can't, the, the road doesn't stop here. The job's not finished, you feel me? Yeah. So it was just an aspiration for all of that. I was talking to myself for real, for real. And I honestly, I think even when I was, uh, when we first started talking about doing this and we were both going through exam week and everything, we were like, oh my God, how are we going to get through this? I would literally just play this track and I would be like, all right. Gotta all right, I know what I gotta do. Now. Gotta go get I, it. I gotta go get it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right, moving Thank into the next track. Like I said, it was my favorite, "Tantrum" featuring Woze. Now, shit, yeah. I, I'm not. I was not expecting a song like this on the project. I didn't know you could rap on an instrumental like this. I didn't know you could do this style, and you surprised me. Oh, that fucking like that rock, totally... that rock rap shit is fire. Woze killed his verse as well. Thank you. I was fucking with it. Thank you. But yeah, what? Shout out to the young and Wose. Yeah, what influenced you for that track? Because it, it stands out on this project, and for good reason, in my opinion. Bro, um, so I've been actually doing that sound for a little while now. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I, I, yeah. This is my first This is my first dive into that sound, and I love yeah. it, bro. I've been asleep. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to, like, trust me, I get it. No, like, <laughs> there, no judgment here. I understand. Um, So... Everyone, so my biggest thing about this was, um, I just really, I'm so, mm, how do I say this? I'm a huge City Morgue fan. Oh, Shout me out too. To, uh, me too. I just saw, I mean, you probably saw them. I just saw them live, but yeah, that's yeah. fire. But yeah, shout out to the homie, uh, Shotgun Soul. He was the one that put me onto City Morgue way, way back in the day. And I'm also a huge, uh, like, um, I'm a huge early X fan, like that SoundCloud, like mm, Young Brats yeah. type sound. Oh, like, yeah. that's yeah. really my jaw and like uh of course the denzel of course everyone knows i'm a denzel curry fan you can yeah. tell like even apparently according from what other people say you can hear it just all over this honestly so. i didn't i didn't get that that much i didn't feel like you sound like denzel that much honestly you you might be the first person to tell me that and i thank you <laughs> <laughs> but no um with that being said bro so the way how this kind of came about uh shout out to my brother azure the paradox uh who did the production on here we was really just talking and i was like bro i kind of just want to like i knew that i was going to get into some serious stuff on here and on on this uh thing and so we did this in we did this must have been last september uh we did this joint and this this was when uh woze had just got into frostburg the school that i just graduated from and he was still getting to know like all the artists on the scene and everything like that. And he's my like when I say that he is my youngin, like he is my youngin. Like we've known each other since like he was a freshman in high school. Uh so he I've just kind of been taking him under my wing and we've just kind of been talking and I've been really enjoying seeing him grow into his own. And I think that this verse he really grows into his own a little bit. And he's like, All right, I know you kind of like my OG here, but I gotta get at you. Uh 
That shit was so, hard, man. I'll you, say I didn't really get the. Was, oh, this is the first time I've heard of him. Whatever. I didn't really get the mm-hmm. the sense that he was like not in it with you. Like, they're, they're, I'm saying like you're calling him as young and like I thought this was like an established artist. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. That shit was fire, bro. That's because he's like. I'm gonna. I know that this is my interview, but I do have to shed some light on. Do him it, bro. Nah, bit. do it, bro. When I say that Wose is probably one of the most engaging young artists I have ever had the chance to work with, which is why he is so integral to this project and why I am so proud of his growth and development. I really, really do, and I hope he sees this. So I really do want him to know. I love him. I care for him. I wish him all the success and everything in the world because what watching him grow and be like all right i'm and really like figure out his own sound because he was working on his own project at the same time when we did this uh when we did this track i was like oh you you you, you." i was like i was just as surprised as you i was like you sound like you've been he sounds like he's been selling out stadiums for 10 years yeah that's how it kind of gets but i I also had to do my thing oh of course of course of course yeah Yeah. I, I really just wanted to get all the anger and everything out. I kind of broke up the project into like three different ways where it's like, I want to get out my joy. I want to get out all the frantic, chaotic mess out. I want to get into some of the introspection. And I also just wanted to, I wanted this to be an exploration of all the emotions that yeah. I had felt over the past like year and a half. Yeah. And I noticed throughout this project, you know, I'll say it again, super diverse, but I, I do now that you're saying you broke up the project, that makes sense because as we get towards the back half of the album, you get more like introspective, conscious music, which I thoroughly mm-hmm. enjoyed. But moving on the track list, we got 5120. Now, this shit was like eerie to me. That instrumental's crazy. And this has got to be, yeah. in my opinion, this is your best like flow, like vocal, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Thank not you. lyrics. Ri- I think you have some better lyrics on here and some other songs, but as far as like mm. just rapping, this is your best performance yeah. in the project, in my opinion, for sure. So I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this song "5150" is definitely my favorite. Oh, it's 5150. My... I miswrote it on my phone. <laughs> don't even don't even worry about it, bro. But uh, yeah, 5150 is my favorite. Uh, because first off, I am a giant nerd, and there's so many references in here. There's yeah, I, so yeah. much going. I didn't on. catch them all, but because I'm I, I am a nerd as well. But there are, mm. are definitely a lot of like pop culture, like TV shows and stuff that goes over my head. Like I don't really be tapping in like that, but I definitely enjoy that. Nah, I, I get it. But this one, uh, you're going to love this. This track uh, was actually, I walked into my homie Paradox's studio. Again, I'll, I'll, he's an executive producer, so I'm going to keep shouting him out, of course, over the course of this whole thing. And we were working on this and, and I was like, bro, I want something that sounds like Tia Karen, bro. Like, I literally played him Rocket Yo, by Tia Karen. I love Rocket, and I was bro. Like, what the fuck? That's funny. yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, can we do something that kind of, like, makes me want to, like, really, like, push my pen a little bit to this degree and really, like, push my cadence? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I can give you something like that. And then I, I remember I was just listening to it so hard. And all of a sudden, I was like, I, like, I figured out the case. And I was like, all right, this is the joint where I really just kind of, like, start to go off. And so... Mm-hmm. I will, and so um, once I got around to realizing I was gonna throw in like Jujutsu Kaisen references and then like X Men references in there and like uh, first of all, Sukuna, how my dark side taking over like that's one of my favorite like it's a for all, all my anime fans like I really I don't, I don't know I like being able to show off my nerdy side in like cooler ways because like I've done nerdcore stuff like I did Raven off my last joint I got a joint coming uh. uh I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna like, here, I'll give you, you, you'll get the exclusive. So, Saturday morning cartoons is coming. <laughs> That's gonna be my full, like, right. nerdy side All coming right. out. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. But, but uh, with that being said, when it comes to this track uh, fully, I know I'm going all over the place and I apologize for that. Good, but, um, yeah, so when it comes to 5150, I was like, this is the way where I can really, like, put all of that into a more, like, concise way and really not have it come across as, like, for lack of a better word, corny. Mm-hmm. uh and so i was just like everything has to hit i have to really make sure that like if i'm punching like i'm punching and so that was uh my biggest uh thing with that was my biggest thing with that so shout out to everybody who likes the boys you know anime x-men <laughs> y'all gonna like this track <laughs> hell yeah man yeah def- like i said crazy crazy fucking cadence delivery rapping on that next track foot on your neck now hey when i listened to this i was like this is like if 
if like Gunna was on Family Ties, like fucking like a fa- like <laughs> that shit like breeded together. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. It was more of like a laid back track, which was a nice little break after you know you had the tantrum, the loud shit coming in. You had your really mm. rapping on the last track. This one was more of like a chill, laid back uh, track. And remind me who the feature was on it again. It's actually my girlfriend, uh, Nat. Oh so, shit! Okay, okay, okay. Tell me a little bit about that. How this song come apart? Okay, so this came apart. Uh, believe it or not, that is the one and only verse that she's ever done, and the one and only verse she will ever do. Uh, <laughs> she's very, she's very adamant about uh not stepping into the booth, but this came about from just like the two of us just goofing around in yeah. my apartment, and um, she was like, you know, I could body you. I was like really <laughs> i was very like I, 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 she was like if i really wanted to i could i was like all right and then um shout out to the homie troublemaker uh he used to go by Fazo at the time this is the last uh beat of his when he was going by Fazo that i'm ever going to use uh so i pulled it up and i was like oh, okay bet just do what you gotta do we figured it out and then we took it over to my homeboy brody's uh place to go lay it down and she kills it she absolutely kills it i'm not gonna lie. I, I, like i think it's pretty even here but i think okay maybe 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 it's a little different but uh let me put my ego to the side here i think she definitely surprised me when she did this because i'm truly in love with this song as much as i am almost as much as i am in love with her yeah so that, that's really, beautiful i had I had no idea that was your girlfriend on there, so I thought that was fire. I thought that was dope as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. She's my girl, my A and R, my backbone, like Hell yeah. executive producer on this uh project too. I got four executive producers, uh, Land the Rob, Azure the Paradox, Nat, and then Troublemaker. So shout out to them for helping me mold my vision. Fuck yeah. Next track here, Wide Open. A, which is out today. I mean the whole project will be out when you see this, but wide open. This shit's hard, dude. This shit is a banger, bro. This is straight slap, you know what I'm saying? This is this is one another fun track, which I enjoyed. You added mm-hmm. another fun track in here. Uh, if you can rem- I, I I didn't write the features down here because I'm an idiot. Who's the feature on here? But they, they killed it, bro. They fucking slapped as well. Shout out to Woze and shout out to CC May. I really want to say this. Shout out to CC May because that was like one of her first times ever he recorded in the studio. Yeah. Bro, bro, she said me and my girl about to go get a petty. We not talking R. Kelly. <laughs> that shit's like, wild, bro. I swear to you. I swear. I put the, oh, bro. Like, oh my god. So, I just I'm gonna be completely transparent here. Mm. Um, I was like, I know I want this to be a single. I know I want this. This was just gonna be something fun and cool. And I had a show, uh, coming up, and I was like, man. I've I've never been able to really do like a twerk song right or in a way that I kind of like it that like lasts for real, for real. yeah and not so like a, not like a gimmick song but something that could get some movement going on exactly yeah so I was like shout out to Black Surfer Beats uh literally just grabbed uh I found his YouTube just on the random and uh ended up buying the lease and all that whatever and then and got it laid down and no. I was in the middle of like writing it while I was at work, mind you. <laughs> while I was at work. Uh, so I was writing it on the clock, and then all of a sudden I was like, all right, I know CC uh, can, I like, I, I know CC could definitely flow on this. So I call her or whatever, and shout out to her. Uh, she picks up with the quickness, uh, and she's like, what's up, Steph? I'm like, yo, you trying to like come hop on this? And so I played her. I, I literally played her <laughs> the beat through. I played her the beat through of the phone, and you know how FaceTime would be distorting the audio and everything like that. Yeah. But even she could hear that like this was like supposed to happen. And I was like, this is just gonna be something fun and cool. And then uh, she's real close with uh, Will Zay, so Zay was like right next to her uh, when I was playing. It. I didn't even notice, but uh, all of a sudden Zay hops into the call. I was like, hey, I want to be on this too. Please, please, please. I was like bet let's do it Um, there you go and so the whole kill about this is because you know i've been i'm working with a lot of newer artists on this uh and i told you i had a show coming up and i was working when i was working on this i was like this will be perfect for like to perform or something like that yeah cc was very adamant against performing it (laughs) and so like yeah because like she's a new artist she's trying to like work everything out or anything like that and i apologize if i'm overstepping or if i'm like putting too much (laughs) 
but um no like when i say because uh, i'm really i say this all because i'm really proud of how they all perform on this for being newer artists you feel me yeah i would like i said i, I would have never guessed bro they, they fucking both killed it bro they, especially her bro exactly. especially her i'm gonna keep it real bro she's kind of like crazy bro she bro she like huh huh she she was insane yeah like i and so i i've always so I truly, truly, truly do believe in the divine feminine. And I'm not just saying that because I got the chain right here. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I knew that this definitely needed a feminine energy on this. And I was just like, she just fits the best for this. She's She would absolutely like toe tag this. And I, was I wrong? I wasn't. And the single is out now. Go stream. Sir, you yes, like All right. Moving on to outside. This was a grandiose track to me. Um, I enjoyed yeah. This was like your... This is like your track talking about leveling up, you know, in the beginning of the, the project mm. you talked about and you got you got to go get it. You know what I'm saying? That you talk about your graduation on here about just kind of just enjoying life. Not almost I don't want to say living in the present, but enjoying what you have now, but knowing that there's more to come. Yeah. And so this is really just I really wanted it to be like some for the summertime. You feel me? Yeah. Some for a little, a little for everybody's little vacation. Everybody's day summer nights. You feel me? I yeah. want this to be real cool, real chill. And so, um. Shout out to again, shout out to Leander Rob because this all came from a random conversation that we were having. And shout out to IEA, uh, we were just having this conversation in the group chat. And I was like, Hey, bro, should I sample Bougie Benson? Because I, first off, again, I'm Caribbean, so I got to go back to the roots. I really do yeah. love like reggae, soca music, like it's what I grew up on. And so I was like, Should I just sample Bougie Benson for the one time? And then, uh, the homie paradox was like he's asking y'all if he thinks oh, i should sample bougie bounce on form i was like that's kind of yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then, like maybe two hours later the homie rob uh popped up and was like steph don't even worry about it it's gonna be in your email in, like less than an hour nice. bro when i tell you i was literally finishing up a final while i was <laughs> doing this and so i finally got it finished up and then i heard the beat and i was like I love this flip. I absolutely mm. do love it. And then I, it was written in like less than an hour. And I was like, if y'all ain't cranking this at the function at the darties this summer, then y'all are just lying to y'all selves. This is insane. And this is the most, like, I really like getting into my more fun bag where I can take stuff a little less seriously. And I think I kind of got into that after uh, listening to vinyl days, which is something you would never expect. Yeah. But, um, like knowing that that project was just like logic having fun after getting out of his like for like his final def jam project and it was so it good like, too it was so good exactly exactly bro exactly. like I, like in my opinion vinyl days is like top three maybe top four logic i got it four i got it in my four i'll say that's my I, four. yeah yeah i'm gonna see shout out to uh rap 301 we definitely got a link we got it we got we got to tap in but I saw uh, y'all comparing discographies. Yeah, y'all have been killing it with that series, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's that's the homie, bro. I talk to him every day. Good guy. We're uh, going to the North Carolina Logic Show together. He's flying in from Canada. That's actually fire. Yeah, we going. We going. And then, what? <laughs> you know, you 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 might see a link up for the boys at the DC one. <laughs> you, 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 yes, just... sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. But yeah, let's get Sorry, into I mean, uh, the. I didn't mean to cut you off. You're about to say something. My bad. No, I was just saying that outside is really just, you know, for the darties, for the summer vibes, you feel me? I'm trying to, like, oh, I, I, I'm i trying to give y'all some crank for the summer. That's really <laughs> all. And shout Hell out to yeah. uh, my boy, Land Rob, because I really do think that's, like, we, we've been working together, like, literally for, like, four years now. I think that's definitely one of the best joints we've ever done. Yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. Next, we got Lucky now. I'm assuming this is about your girl. This is about your girl and showing more yeah. vulnerable side of you. You know, um, just kind of, you know, your girlfriend, like you're saying, she's a and mm. executive producing. How is that? How is that? I mean, you, talk, you touched on a little bit earlier on how she's keeping you motivated, you know, telling you, you know, when you were feeling down, feeling like you weren't want to keep going, she kept you going. But this track is about how lucky you are to have her. And how does like your relationship and your music career like synergize? I guess. Why? Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. So it's first off we were business partners and uh she was a part of the she was a part of the music before anything else to be quite honest with you mm. so she started off a and ring and then um 
she start she started off ANRing and I was the first client that she ever ANR'd for. And so she's very, very blunt. She's a very direct person. Good. That's what you, so, I feel like that's what you need in an ANR, bro. You got you need someone to be honest with you. Exactly. But she can also definitely be a huge backbone. And so uh for a long like during the creation of like my last joint, uh I just got nothing but texts from her that were just like, you know. Oh, this is but this is this is booty butt cheeks. I was like, but somehow I was still enough with a smile on my face because you know I like this is like at this point I think we were already like together. So I was like, oh, she thinks this is she thinks this is trash, but this is from her. <laughs> like, so, but no, um, to be no 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 like uh, honestly, the way how uh, the way how our business and our relationship uh kind of synergizes is the fact that we both want careers in this and we both mm. are motivating and pushing each other uh she is actually managing two two very talented artists right now uh shout out to amara the star shout out to heart sweet uh they are being signed dang i cannot I, I will just say that they are signed to net because i'm not sure if she would give me the green light to <laughs> say the name of the management company yeah, just no, yet. for sure for sure don't get in trouble <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah let, um, let's not put me in the doghouse but i will say that uh this song is definitely just first off the tape's called boy meets world yeah. everyone you was sam- expecting didn't you this. sample boy meets world in this track yeah yeah, yeah 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 there's a dope uh that was a last minute add-on which is very funny because i was just looking through and i was re-listening to it and like it's one of my favorites and so um i was looking for like some clip from the show that i could like throw on there and I found this quote and it just immediately made me think of her. And I was like, this is the one that I have to use. And I know that everyone kind of like was expecting like for the, for the love track on here to be called like Topanga or something like that, you know, but Trippy Red already did that. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Like, he did. <laughs> I think, I, I think after Trippy did it, like there's no other way that like anyone else could do a song uh, called Topanga. Yeah. But uh, cause that, that's a really good track, but I also, I kind of think that Sean and Angela Loki had a more interesting relationship, from my opinion. I've never seen it. I've never seen it, so I can't even. I can't even. Bro, you are not the first person. You are not the first person to uh, tell me that. Wose literally told me the same thing like less than a week ago, and I was like, either you're just young or I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> like it's one of my fa- it's one of my favorite uh it's one of my favorite sitcoms from back in the yeah. day, bro. Like, if you haven't tapped in, please go tap in. All right, say less, say less. Now, following themes of your girlfriend, the next song, A, properly named, Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> properly <laughs> named, you know, you're talking about little, your vulnerable side and the feelings are about really... Hey, we know what you're talking about. We we know what you're talking about. We know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, if you want to um, tell me a little bit about that track, Funny thing is that's her on the intro. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense. I should have fucking connected those damn dots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah. Uh, so I was really so. How will I say this? Other than like this part of the project all stems from like my love for artists like Wale, uh, Brighton Tiller. Mm. You know, people who can really yeah. capture that lovey dovey yeah. type thing. And also. I think the best album to ever explain and break down love. I got a shout out to Nick with Divine coming in by Mac. You feel me? So I was really, it really takes heavy skin influence. If you've ever listened to the album. Uh, no, I'm not. no. All right. We, we, we don't get you hit. I'm asleep. Yeah. Don't worry. No, fine. Don't worry, but we don't get you hit. But yeah, so it takes heavy, heavy influence from like skin off of there. And I was just like, man, let me show these people. I'm grown. Let, yeah. Let me, like, really <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I was just like, this is I, it, honestly, uh, I was just texting her and I was like, hey, just whatever you can think of to, to whatever you can think of to really like get into that mood. Cause like, mm, whatever you can think of to really get into that mood and really just, you know, show them like, hey, the, the title is really, the title really sums up the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, uh she sent that and so she sent that to me and i was like I, first off i was a little stunned but then i was also i was just smiling I, like i was grinning like an idiot i wish you like i wish someone took a photo of me in that moment uh because i was like oh this is gonna be so the funny thing is it was probably the quickest uh joint i've ever finished up and also like the most fun because there was initially another version of this joint that i did 
all the way back in like all the way back in like 2021 probably and i listened to it i was getting ready to be like yeah this is good to go but then i was like no this just doesn't work so i went to paradox and i was like bro can we maybe like switch with the vibe do this a little bit slower do some um if you've ever heard Falorin 2 by Wale some like fire oh, yeah, and ice yeah. dearly yeah, beloved yeah 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 like, fuck yeah yeah type, type of vibes bro first off those are my favorite songs off those are my favorite songs <laughs> off that project uh I really really do love them um and then he was like you know we can try and so I was like all right bet and then that's how we ended up with that it was really quick really fun and uh <laughs> It's probably the joint that because it's been out for a while now, and that's I did I dropped it like last December, and that's the joint that really like every time I run into someone, is they either get two reactions like, this is weird because I know you like this is good music, but you're letting me know a little too much about your life. Yeah, yeah, naturally. Or they're like, oh, I didn't know you could get like I I, I mm, shout out to shout out to the homie Anaya, shout out to the homie Victoria, shout out to the homie Jeremiah. Um, I swear to you, I was walking around on campus one day after I, I'm pretty sure I failed an exam or something like that. <laughs> uh, hey, I still got the degree. That's all that matters. Sir, that's all that matters, literally. Exactly. But, um, then I run into, the, then I run into, uh, I think my homegirl Victoria and she's like, oh, so I heard the new track. I didn't know you was talking like that. It's like, obviously I was like, uh, because, you know, obviously I'm, like I have this typically like nerdy exterior, yeah. so no one expects me to get on my like pray songs type of vibe. No yeah, one, no yeah. one expects none of that. Yeah. Like, so I was like, oh yeah, like this is just me, and it's the most natural thing because I think at the end of the day, especially when you're in our age, you're in your twenties. Like this is just what happens. Like this oh, is this on. is probably the, the forefront of your mind. Oh yeah, <laughs> for yeah. sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But I will say, adding oh, on to that track, it's, you know, ever, you know, rappers rap about sex all the time. Usually it's more of like a one-liner mm. and a song here or there. But like, as far mm. as like a more lyrical conscious track about this, it's hard to execute that in a way that doesn't sound like cringe, just to be blunt. And you did it. I'll, I'll uh, be honest. I think you. you did it. I think you did it. Uh, bro, so first off, uh, shout out to, I definitely got to say this because I mentioned it in the uh, jump. Shout out to PG County. Uh, they call it Pretty Girl County. You're not from the mm. DMV, so I'm going to break that down to you. You call that Pretty Girl County, and I'm not just saying this because my girl's from there, but I'm sorry to anywhere else in the DMV, but PG Jones, number one. <laughs> number one. <laughs> when they say Pretty Girl County, they really mean it. Uh, sure. So, yeah. And I got the best. I, I, I got the best. I call her the PG Princess for the reason. For a reason, and I'm the Moco Maverick. So, <laughs> bro, you the, the the like little names you come up are hilarious. And speaking of little names, I think this next track. I think I've told you this before. This is like this is like the craziest song title of all time. Fucking Amy Drillhouse, bro. That, that <laughs> that's a wild song title and an even wilder song. You know, this song's been out for a while, and I'm not gonna lie, bro. I've been bumping yeah. this like so much. Like I have to check. I could check my scrabbles on it, whatever. But I've been listening to it a lot. Like. Since it's come out, it's oh, been no, on my no. playlist, steady coming up on my rotation, you know what I'm saying? Bro, can I just, I want to give you your flowers real quick, because, like, honestly, like, this is more than just, like, a business thing. Like, I really do consider you the homie. And yeah, I feel you the same are way. The, yeah, I feel the same thank way. Thank you, man. And you are the first influencer homie to really, like, put me on and be like, hey, bro, y'all need to tap in. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the amount of times that, um... Yeah, so the amount of times that when you put me in the New Music Friday videos, when you were still doing those, first of all, the fact that uh, y'all weren't giving him the views that he needs. It's crazy. all good. Crazy. It's all good. We doing the we doing the monthly ones now. The monthly ones now have been doing all right. I still do the playlist every week. It's all right. If anything, yeah, it's yeah. more of an opportunity to like focus on other videos as well, since they weren't doing great. It's no big deal. That's I mean, fair. I was it That's was fair. kind of a test series, anyways. But I still it was it was. I still do the playlist. So. Uh, yeah, 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 tap into the new Music Friday playlist. Of course, it's linked down below. It's linked in the description of every video. Shameless plug, whatever. <laughs> when I say that, Fitz is really the homie. This is really the homie. I appreciate it. Uh, of course, so I'm going to treat you just like how I treat the homies. But I do want to give you your flowers because 
you really took this joint and was like, yo, y'all need to listen to this. And it's hard, it, bro. It's hard, bro. That shit's bro. Crazy. When you said, when you said this dude is lyrical, but not in a lyrical spirit, I was like, thank you. I'm just thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a fine I, I line, bro. You. There's a fine line, and I promise you, I've been trying to beat those out. I've been trying to beat those allegations for years. Well, you better with this project because this project is fucking diverse as fuck. And like, if no one knew a thing about you and they listened to this, I doubt that would be the anything that would pop in their head. They'd be like, "This guy's lyrical. He's got a pen, but you know, like I said, fine line. You know, what I'm saying you're not crossing that line." Thank you, thank you. But no, um, I really so I I I definitely want to tap into a whole bunch of new sounds with this John, and this was just one of the ones. There is another drill uh track that I have. Uh, I'm gonna play it for you when we get off. Cause okay. honestly, I'm thinking about putting this on a potential deluxe. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, yeah. So um, I'll play it for you. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to know if this doesn't end up on the deluxe, it'll be because Bryce told me no. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real so, with you too. So I ain't gonna lie to you. That's the crazy thing. Of course. <laughs> I'm gonna let him play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him play A and R for like two seconds. But um. <laughs> No, I really do like this. I really, I really, really, really do love this uh, track because it came about in such a natural way. Like I was on break. I, I, I do nothing but watch like documentaries, interviews, uh, biographies and all that type of stuff. Like if you were to look at my watch history on like YouTube and stuff like that, it's nothing but podcasts, interviews, documentaries. And then of course, like your stuff, you'll see a bunch of Fitz records. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> my boy, I t- my boy. And the thing is that like we text basically like every other day so you know when i watch it. yeah yeah you do you sat down I, I really do appreciate it I, you know we're growing out here of but course. you know proceeding on the track, back to the track. Yeah. yeah yeah um this is like my favorite stretch of the album we're coming in on the last four tracks ooh, you closed ooh, out this album incredible thoughts at the altar man it that shit is crazy it's inspirational i feel like you're pouring your like soul out honestly in a way it's it's definitely one of your more lyrical tracks on here, but I feel like mm. it it was necessary given the topics you discussed on here. Yeah, so um, shout out to Thoughts at the Altar. Um, I mean, shout out to E. Henny. Oh my God, the guy <laughs> who produced it. Uh, I I linked with him because of uh my executive producer Troublemaker. Uh, they're a, they're like super close buds, and I was just like, yeah, bro. Uh, so initially, this is funny. Like, I never would have thought that I would have gotten these type of beats from me saying, hey, bro, um, I kind of want something for the pit. If you have anything that sounds like stick, please send it. And then all of a sudden he's like, no, 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 no. I, I, I hear that you do great in, like, the boom bap lane. So this is what I'm going to send on the set, on the chopped up sample lane. And I was like, all right, bet. Go yeah. ahead, send whatever. I'm, <laughs> I'm down. Because initially, like, when it comes to – producers who i'm not like as close with or whatever i'm like we'll just send the sound that i know that i can do really really well on for right yeah. and right now it's that's the rage sound or i can really like push my pen and so i was like today i decided to choose the rage sound he decided i was gonna go on the let's push your pen boom bap type yeah. of style and i honestly thank him for it so e Henny, if you end yeah. up watching this thank i was you. gonna say shout out to you for following his discretion on there because we only got the song without it and like I said, exactly one of my favorites on the project. And yeah, man, I'll say um, I think it ties in great with uh, the next track coming up, which Soulful mm. Pain, another extremely honest, vulnerable track. And yeah. even the way the beat sounds on there, like even without, you know, what you're talking about on the track, it does make you feel soulful pain for, for lack of a better word in my head right now. Yeah, bro. Um, shout out to Troublemaker, and uh, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. So, as much as I've gone throughout this uh, interview talking about my girl, my girl, my girl, she's my backbone or whatever, and I'm trying to like, we're still a couple, we're still a young couple at that, and so uh, I almost lost her back in October. Yeah. I almost lost her back in October over some super, super, like, I think this is my first time saying this on record. I don't, I don't think I've even told the homies this. Mm. Uh, over some super, super idiotic, and honestly, I think I induced relationship trauma on both of us. And I'm just going to be completely transparent here off of this. 
And this is about me just kind of reiterating and just really, this is an apology on record. Yeah. (laughs) This is all, this is an apology on record. And I was sitting, and this is after, because you're, does the public knows that you're in a relationship, right? Please cut this if they don't. They do. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool, 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 cool. So, like, the you know, I'm sure, like, just speaking man to man here, like, when you really mess up and y'all are like going through this, like, I'm not talking to you, but I'm still gonna check in and at least make sure you're alive type thing. So it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. And so we were going through one of those moments, and I had just finished, and we had just finished up one of those. Hey, are you alive? Calls and um. So I was just, I, I was feeling really in the dumps and really horrible about like my actions and everything. And so I had just gotten the pack from Troublemaker and I was like, man, I'm just going to sit here in this breakout room. Uh, shout out to TCIT up at Frostburg. I swear I've written so much there and just, I, I just worked it all out. And then bro, I, like, I think I've never been so transparent on something that's come out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like the fact that, you know, she's obviously a big part of this project, um, you know, on the mm-hmm. A&R executive producing side and just all around inspiration for a lot of these tracks. I think it's really mm-hmm. great that you guys can both together look at that and be like, okay, like this is a raw emotional track and it's it fits the project, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, yeah. it's, it's not something everyone would want to put out but you're going to, you did, you're going to. So I, I applaud you yeah. along with a lot of other tracks on here. Yeah, man. So um, when this, yeah, when this comes out, uh, Project Drops June 9th, when this comes out, uh, like this will, I, I said this literally today on my Instagram story. I was like, you guys are going to get a piece of my soul. This is a year and a half worth of work here. Yeah. And uh, so this is the most like forefront part of it. And it's like even still hearing this i it, it brings up emotions like my girl's been doing like all the visualizers and edits and stuff like that for like basic for everything surrounding this uh project and i she was like you need to get someone else to do a visualizer for this this is obviously like you can understand why right i was like yeah probably the same yeah. reason i don't like opening up this file like it it i I don't like thinking about how my stupidity, cowardice, and for lack of a better word, just in just inability to really understand human emotion almost like made me lose one of the greatest things to ever happen to me. Arguably the greatest thing to ever happen to me. Uh I only say arguably because I'm the oldest of like five I'm the oldest of five siblings, so those are like my hearts and like yeah. living form. But with that being said, man, like there was no other way I wanted to close out this. <laughs> There's no other way I wanted to close this out. Uh, yeah. uh, not close it out, but I knew that this had to be on the back half yeah. because I was like, yeah, you have to build up to this. You can't. Oh just... yeah, yeah, you know, because if, so... if it was towards the beginning, it almost would sound. I don't want to say trauma dumping, but without the context of the rest of the project, it it would come yeah. up a certain type of way. I think it's perfect in the track list where it is. Exactly, and so um. I'm a huge fan of Saba. I especially love Care For Me. And so this is almost such a classic. Such a classic. And so this is almost like, this is this is my small bits of Care For Me. Because mm-hmm. one of my biggest uh, objectives on this joint was to be more introspective and to be more open. And this time I decided to be more open and introspective about myself and of my relationship but i think moving forward i'm trying to be a little bit more introspective about how i'm feeling about just events that have happened in my life and you know this new period that i'm entering so because you know me i'm already working on the next thing Mm -hmm. this is the the process yes sir but um yeah with that being said man like i it's very this this is all i have to say is that this is an apology come to life and shout out to troublemaker for that instrumental and where else are you going to hear someone say, hey, I'm sorry for messing up? On a lighter note, moving into the next Please. one. Please. <laughs> Deep End Cypher. I know I said uh, 
Let's I know talk I said about, fuck let's it. Talk about hyped. Yeah, I know I said Tantrum might be my favorite, but dude, I am a sucker for Detroit. I love fucking RMC Mike, dude, Babyface Ray, mm-hmm. V's, I swear Bez, I could go on. I love and all. You are a baby tree, and you're a baby Tron clone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my hair is up, so I don't really look like it. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> the girl at the end killed it, bro. That shit was the crazy. fatal attraction. Fa- uh, where she's like fatal attraction. That's CC May. <laughs> she's killing it, bro. She's fucking killing it, bro. CC May is insane. I think y'all need to get hit before she ends up taking over the world. Say because less. Say she definitely less. has the potential to. Yeah. Uh, Trust me, I'm gonna I'm gonna connect you with everybody's IG once we get off of here, bro. All right, bet, bet, bet. But um, nah, son. Like I, I swear to you. Like first off, you've heard me talk about this place uh, a lot uh, over the course of this interview. It's not just the school that I went to; it's the community that I was in for about four years, yeah. and it's Frostburg, Maryland, uh, Western Maryland. It's way out in the boonies, bro. Uh, doesn't really have <clears throat> the music scene mostly there except for like some local artists and everything like that shout out my guy uh black guy fox he's from baltimore but he's based he's way more localized there than i am uh and he can probably tell you a lot more but like um oh my god basically what i'm saying is that the frostburg music scene has been so like dope because connecting with mostly a lot of student artists because you know that's usually the reason why people go there is for the school and everything like that so i was just like i wanted all of my ogs uh, that were already established artists up there on that campus uh, while I was coming in. And then I want all of my youngins and I want all of my contemporaries to basically just be on one joint together and it's just going to be great and we're all just going to like supersede each other. And um, there are so many other artists who have touched that mountain that I wish I could have added, but you know, yeah. then it would end up being, Songs then it would end up so being cool. like the last. Yeah, exactly. It, could, it would end up being like the last track on 1999, where it's just 12 <laughs> minutes. You feel me? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, everybody killed this, bro. Like I'm, I have no other words. I love I this really, track. Like, I ran it back like three times when I heard it before I even got to the the next final track. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. This shit had me in a little chokehold oh for a minute, dude. Shout out to. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and turn on order the verses. Yeah, yeah. Shout out all shout the out features. To- Shout out to Jinjo, shout out to Jay Nino, shout out to Just Ten, shout out to One Law, shout out to Azure the Paradox, shout out Wose, shout out CC May. And I will say, I'm even going to take some time to shout out some people who weren't on this, but I wanted them on this. Uh, they, I either just didn't reach out because, again, the joint can only be so long, yep. or something just didn't work out. Shout out Heart Sweet, shout out Amar Star, shout out Yay Production, shout out Jay Bino, shout out Lil J, shout out to Gabe Heb, even. Shout out to everybody. Uh, yeah. I even wanted some of my 242 homies who have never even been to Frostburg, but uh, I even wanted some of them on this. So shout out to Shawn Michael, shout out to Kang, shout out to everybody in 242. But, bro, overall, like, I I really wanted to end this in such a dope, like, I wanted it to feel like Endgame, and this is what it yeah. is. It, it, yeah. it felt like Endgame. I love Posse Cuts, man. And, you know. I'm a sucker. The, I'm Same. a sucker for this track. I'm, I love posse cuts yeah, too, man. Dude. So I'm happy. Kind of a rare, rare thing nowadays, man. Why is that? For sure. Like, I don't, uh, shout out to Friday Night Cipher. Off yeah, of, uh, that's the last Detroit big too. one I can even think of, man. Like the big that, one. Uh, Red Death off of uh, 10. Oh, I think that's right. the last you're track right. on uh, right. Yeah, That's a great album. Yeah, it is. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, this is what happens when you get two music nerds together. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but um, you got a bonus track on here, which I know, bonus track, but I do want to talk about it a little bit because this shit is fire. Oh, no, we definitely should. Talk yo shit, ho. <laughs> Fucking energy's on 10 on this bitch, dude. Yeah, I love your, like, Bro. this is, you have some aggressive tracks on here, you know, uh, going back to uh, stuff like Tantrum. Tantrum, you know, that shit was aggressive. Mm-hmm. But I feel like your vocal delivery on this was, like, aggressively confident, if that makes sense, you know? Mm-hmm. I just really liked your vocal cadence on this track. I, I really did. I thought it was fire. I do too. I, I like. I thank you. I really do appreciate it. Um, my manager actually said the same thing. Um, and with that being said, bro. Oh, speaking of my manager, shout out to Logan. I should probably shout him out sometime during this. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Logan. Um, he's he's so used to working in the background and things that like he doesn't really get that much recognition. But I do want to thank him for yeah, all the work that course. he's done. 
with everything going on. So this track initially was not supposed to be mine, <laughs> but I'm not stealing it. Uh, it was initially supposed to be Azure to Paradoxes. Uh, it was something that we made for a show that he had going on. And then this was probably one of the most fun joints to make. Shout out to Heart Suite, shout out to Jose, shout out to Paradox. Um, because we were the four main acts. We were like, all right, we're just going to form together like Voltron and do something or whatever. And that's what we're going to end the show with. Yep. Um, and then when we were, when we finally came through and recorded it, uh, we went, I went by Paradoxes and then I don't know how this ended up being it was way because I typically like, bro, I'm an introvert. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but I don't like a lot of people being around. I really love closed sessions, small sessions. And so what ended up being me, Paradox, and like maybe two other people ended up turning into like 20 people in one room. And I was like, excuse? I, I was Yeah, bro. I was very like shook a little bit but it ended up being a lot of fun and it, i think that led into the energy of the actual like jump because it's insane it's insanely dope it is insanely dope insanely bobathic insanely chaotic yeah. it's insanely chaotic in the best way um and so yeah man like i really do i, I like after it was done first off i think heart sweet kills her verse yeah. I, she went crazy <laughs> she went crazy like yeah and so uh i think after all of that i was like yeah man can i get this as a bonus track <laughs> <laughs> and then paradox was like sure man like I, I i like he's got tons in the vault bro and so like he, he's got so much coming like i'm i'm gonna get you hip i'm gonna get you hip bro it, because bro. i Do think it. he's someone you're really gonna like Fuck yeah um but yeah bro like he's He's insanely dope and insanely talented, and I really, really appreciate him for just letting me. He he really is my right hand and my brother in this. So I appreciate him for being like, hey, bro, I can tell you really want this here. It's yours, and it nah, fits so well, it though, does. is the thing. It does. Um, and so I think that was a perfect way to close it. That's a nice little bonus. Yeah, and uh, going back to what you were saying about the studio session, I think I'm very much the same way of you. Like, I don't. I'm, I really am introvert, bro. I stay in my room. I edit my videos. I do my thing. You know, I hang out with my homies whenever. But it's like, it's it's an interesting dynamic for you know. I don't make music, but in artists like you who mm. want closed studio sessions because you know less distractions, you can stay more focused. You don't have to worry about what other people think. But also, when you got twenty people in there, that shit gonna be turned up a little bit, and you want to perform well because you're in front of twenty people yeah. at the moment. So I think that's interesting that this track came out of like a big session from that that definitely did and bro I, oh my god i'm so happy that you said a lot of distractions because the amount of times during that session as great as the product was that Distract, i had to yeah. say hey bro hey bro we we we, we try and do a take bro yep. like, yep. <laughs> like i'm sure you know, that's valuable I, i'm assuming you're in a studio but a valuable studio time whatever yeah. like yeah. Yeah. It was a it, so it was my man Paradox's like home studio that he does, but so much genius has come out of there, bro. Between him and I and everyone that really uh goes over there, like I'm so I'm so happy and I'm so uh again I <clears throat> before we close it before we close this out because you know we are about to finish up talking about the album. I do want to thank again all the execs. <clears throat> I want to thank Nat, uh, Troublemaker, Land of Rob, Paradox. I want to thank the homies at 242. <clears throat> no, excuse me. The label that I have uh, the distribution deal with, uh, Room 242 Records. And yeah, I think this is really, I, I think there was no other way but just super chaotic energy for how to end this. Yeah, man. So I got, I got a few little questions here. We went through every track on the project, but what is your, and it's, I know it's like choosing your favorite kid, but what's your favorite song in the project if you had to choose? 5150. All right. All right. I think you said that earlier in the interview anyways, but I had it written down anyways. And another mm. question I wanted to ask you, or this is kind of like a two-in-one question. Um, I know it's a little cliche question, but if you had to work with one artist and one producer on one song, who? Ooh. Who for both? Who? Ooh. Who are we going with on the same track as well? One producer and one artist on the same song. Okay, so this dude has been inspiring me for a long, long, long time. So for a long, actually not a long, long, long time, but he's inspired, like the majority of the time I've been working on this, 
he's been inspiring and pushing. Yeah. So I will say, let me work with Red Veil on a J. Cole oh. beat. I love that. I love that. J. Cole's been killing his little... I know he hasn't done a ton of production, but what he has been doing mm. has been dope. You know, both those Corday songs with the uh, Anderson Pac he produced, both those songs are yeah. classics. That's crazy. That's a great answer. And of course, showing back, I uh, love the... The PG baby himself, Redville, of course, of course. Bro, like, oh my God. Can I tell like one real quick story, bro? Because I course, think bro, I even texted you. I texted you the night I went to the uh, J- JID show and I was like, bro, yeah. you will not believe I just met Redville. Yeah. And so, uh, crazy. Uh, the re- and so the story of how it happened was um, like, so I had, my girl had gotten like me, my homie Alex, and uh, myself and herself uh, meet and greets for JID, so you know, we do the whole meet and greet thing. Uh, the pictures are up on my IG uh, if you want to see uh, for anyone who's watching. And like, literally, maybe like, went and then like, I had him sign like my Forever Story vinyl, my Never Story vinyl. There's some something somewhere over there. Um, and even my Revenge of the Dreamers 3 vinyl uh, that I had my homie Alex claim was his because I wasn't sure how many he was going to sign <laughs> in just one go. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and so I put them all like downstairs in like coat check or whatever, and then I'm coming down to coat check after the show, and randomly Red Veil is just standing in the coat check line. I'm like, bro, I passed yeah. him at first, but I had to double back. I was like, bro, are you Red Veil? And he's <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, there's no way I'm meeting one of my favorite new artists right now. Yeah. And so I'm like, bro, damn you, bro. Like, yeah. can I get a picture? Like, I'm like, I'm like, I like I oh my god and so we take a couple pictures or whatever and then the last thing I tell I say to him and I'm so happy that you brought up PG baby I'm like bro I know you're the PG baby but I'm the Moco baby you gonna get to know me <laughs> soon <laughs> oh my god all right I, I'm like sorry I, sorry I try not to be like I try not to be like a super huge fanboy but it's moments like that where I'm just like. Yeah. I'm going to give you space. I'm going to try and be like as calm as possible. But I was like, dude, you're like one of my favorites. Yeah, I've I've had I've had my fanboy moments when I was younger, but I think I've mellowed out now. I've been in the presence of a few famous people and I've been chill. So we're just going <laughs> going. Hopefully that. Oh, no, I can't wait. Going. I can't wait for it to because we're going to talk a little bit. after. I can't wait to see you flex on me a little bit more with that. Dude, you don't even I got uh, another question. So go ahead. Go Hellblazer, the year's 2023. Boy Meets World mixtape is dropping five years from now. Where do you see yourself? Where do you realist? You said you got your whole career planned out. You know, you got your manifestations and stuff. So take me through that manifestation five years from now. Where do you see yourself? My manifestation. Uh, So first off, my manifestation actually starts with next week. My manifestation starts with the fact that we will be at the Logic Show in D.C. I will be able to, you know, exactly. I will I will be getting the 16 off in front of Bobby. I, I will. I, I, you can clip if this any, for If afterwards. anyone's going to do it, it's going to be you. So I believe you 100%. Exactly. Because I'm not sure. Like, oh, hmm, let me let, let me flex just a little bit. I've already done it for Westside Boogie. Already done it for JID. Mm-hmm. I've already... See, see, C.D. Castro's already, already yes, knows sir. what I can do. And so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this cool 16 off, you feel me? But, uh, and then hopefully that will lead to me somehow being able to leverage and land. Shout out to Team Man the Wizard. Um, shout out to Team Man the Wizard because I'm incredibly jealous of him right now because I need me a Bobby Boy chain. I just, just, <laughs> like, just, just the, like, and then I want to do some time over there a little bit. I want to do like a, a cool, like, like, honestly, I want more of Bobby's mentorship than like, a deal but because of where i'm at right now you know something's got to pay the bills i would love a deal. of course of course of course <laughs> extremely intelligent extremely emotionally intelligent person marketing business intelligent music intelligent person you know yeah he, he's definitely someone who you will be connecting with for sure in the, in the near future exactly and I, exactly and i would love for uh just to have his mentorship or anything like that just like i would have to have love to have so many other people's mentorship for real for real and that's what's leading me to like my next thing. After that short-term deal, hopefully, you know, there'll be like a year, year and a half, maybe two. And I end up doing some time over at Empire, do a cool little distribution deal through them, really help strengthen the 242 name. 
I, I know you've heard me bring them up a lot, but I'm going to take yeah. this time real quick to really give them the whole official shout out. Shout out to Kang, shout out to Damon Modera, shout out to Shawn Michaels, shout out to David, shout out to Deepak, shout out to Chem X, shout out to literally, shout out to 242, the gang, you feel me? That's the gang. Uh, those are my boys that I've been rocking with since literal high school, so yeah. Um, strengthen that name a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, it, it's all got to land back in the Ville. It's... If even Martin Luther King would have been on Dreamville, why can't I, bro? Like, like J. Cole, anyone that knows me knows that I'm a Dreamville stan. Like, that is really, like, the only, that's really, like, when I think of, like, some a, a label that I would do, like, a real, like, five-year deal with, it's them. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking legendary. So, Hellblazer. If you want to leave a little message for the youth, just something to leave the people with, I think we can close it out. The name is Hellblazer. Mixtape, Boy Meets World is out. So what you got for the people? Uh, For the people, I want to say, please, please, please pursue your dreams. Uh, Lead with kindness. And I'm wishing you all love and prosperity, peace and blessings and happiness. Um, And I know we wearing the Logic merch, so I feel like I got to say P.O.P. P-O-P. Of course, of course. Peace, love, and positivity. That's a real thing, man. That's a real thing. Thank you for your time today, of course, man. man. Make sure everyone check out Thank that project. Thank you for having me on your platform. Of course, of course. You guys won't be disappointed with the project. I wouldn't be promoting bullshit on here. He did not pay me. I just fuck with his music. He's the homie. So check it out. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Link I will am be too in the broke description. To pay him right yeah. now. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Link will be in the description when it drops because I think this interview is dropping a few days earlier, but it'll be there as soon as it drops. So make sure you check it out. Follow Hellblazer down there, down below. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on all my shit. You know, I do the spiel every fucking video, you know, TikTok, whatever, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, bro. We're on YouTube. I don't know why I said bro. that, but go sub- subscribe. Wow. <laughs> exactly. Come up with the hot shit. All they do is talk shit. You can never stop it, boy. Just stop, stop. What call that HD's vision? All these other motherfuckers full of indecision. These are going through your city like drug money. Made a meal off rap.